YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's Music Reaction Channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about say five um, reactions today. This is continuation from my uploads yesterday. I really, really wanted to do about 10 or more. So this is the um, the rest of the remaining uploads that I wanted, reactions that I wanted to do yesterday. And then tomorrow is going to be a continuation with uh, amazing, fabulous new artists, as well as the regular artists that I have the pleasure of carrying out reactions to. I'd like to say a big, massive thank you to all my subscribers who have been an absolutely amazing support. We have passed uh, 3,300 subscribers today and I would just like to say a new target um, which I said yesterday would be about say 4,000 by the end of the uh, month what do you reckon let me know about that is that a feasible target to hit I want to also utilize my community page a little bit more so I'm going to be uploading more pictures more interactions with the artists that I have the pleasure of carrying out the reactions to also looking forward to me carrying out or hopefully me carrying out some interviews with a couple of the artists that I've had the pleasure of carrying out reactions to this year as well so, music today is going to be covering from South Korea, India, um, Indonesia, and um, some Ukrainian music, which a new artist, which I should have uploaded yesterday, but I didn't have enough time to do so anyway. And I did um, let you know about the um, South Korean and Indonesian um, music as well. We're also going to go over to South Africa. I had the pleasure of reacting to um, Nasi C, um, which um, you okay. So today I'm going to add on a Reese as well. That would be, um, couldn't I've said it better part two i have been um recommended that uh, particular track a number of times so i've done the part one so this is the part two now i'm going to carry out a number of comments which you guys have left me yesterday um which i haven't had a reply back yet as you know this is going to be a new routine that any comments i'm going to say on my channel so if you want me to say your comment on my channel then please simply leave a comment right um going on to the first one today um that was mohammed sasse he was referring to the keo de nero um, um track um the pressure which i just done a reaction to the other day if you look um, if you check it out and um, he said happy new year uncle momo one thing i like about you is that you know how to analyze music of any nature and thank you for promoting african music well thank you very much mohammed it's been an absolute pleasure and there's going to be more um, talented African artists that I'm going to carry out reactions to from all kinds of styles of music, not only hip hop, but we're going to go into R&B and traditional sounds from um, Africa as well, from all over Africa, which I'm going to be absolutely, which I'm so excited um, to promote onto my channel. So watch out for that. Going on to the next one is um, AK90 Million. How you doing, mate? Um, the best reactor now. We love you. I love you too, mate. Uh, you guys have given me so much support. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to do one more and then we're going to go on to um, going on to our reactions. Uh, this one is from Jazzy Boy. He's going. He's referring to pressure. He's let out emoji of a number of fires. Good morning, Jazzy Boy. I hope you're doing. For, for, uh, hope you're doing well, mate. I'm going to do one more. Um, Ali Palmer. Wow, good electronic sounds and nice girls. I like Onika. Thanks for the reactions. He was talking about Onika. Look, I love that retro vibe what Onika's providing at the moment. And well, in her in the earlier stage, it's such a lovely um, contrast to what she's doing at the moment. I really, really, she's just amazing. And even when you're looking at the videos, what her husband produced as well, it's just like psh, mind blowing. Anyway. Let's go on straight to our first reaction. My first reaction it is going over to South Korea. Um, I have the pleasure of reacting to this particular artist a number of times, uh, I believe three times. Um, one with um, the amusement park was the last one. This particular track uh, is Get You Alone, and the gentleman, his name is um, Bacon. I'm out of Bacon. Ah, oh, come on, I, I thought I had that. He's Bacon. And you know what? The thing is, I've had a number of um, subscribers that's told me how to pronounce it. Bacon. Oh, yeah. Bacon. Bacon. There you go. Or is Beckhan. There you go. Beckhan. There you go. Beckhan. Got it. You know what we're here for. Great vocabs. And a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? <laughs>
see it I, I don't know what's wrong with you but that was so many influences of michael jackson in that video and also and also the disco funk element as well if you listen to all every individual instrument that was used in there it gave you it gave you some kind of influence of michael jackson one part it was the thriller and um, there were certain instruments in in there then there were certain instruments um from the um billy jeans then there was certain instruments um, that was given you from um, uh, from the Motown um, era. It had so much influence, and then you saw the intricate different kind of dances in it. Every so, almost like I say, eighty percent of the um, dance move in there had some kind of inspiration by Michael Jackson, and it just shows you how far he the love spread out that he, his music and his influences. And I said to you time and time ago, if you want great music and great R&B and great that, that soul thing, it's no longer looking over to the States. It's you have to go over to um, South Korea or Indonesia for giving you that lovely um, missing um, R&B and soulful sound that everybody's craving for, which, you know, the, the America started and it was the amazing influence between the 80s and the 90s where you just had that impact of lovely R&B and, and lovely soul, which now you look over to the States and it's sort of like, I don't know, it's, it's involved. And I said it so many times. 
that music does evolve. And certainly from the creator who, you know, the creators of that particular sound of music, um, you know, two years ago or whatever, someone must have evolved it to a different kind of sound. But sometimes it's like you have to capture what is great and what is lovely and don't forget about that basis of that. And I don't think that Korea has forgotten about that because there is so many brilliant talented music musicians and producers that's coming out from south korea let alone the artists who's singing on it i'm just checking out the music itself and it's just like what i've been craving for what i've been missing um where, you know i had that art that question of where has it gone and i'm just glad that i found it and i just like so surprised um that i thought it's going to be a state somewhere in america um let alone in another country um, but we're rocking it. It's same thing with hip hop. You, you know, if you want some lovely um, lyrical and lyricists of hip hop, go over to like um, Africa or go over to um, Ukraine, go over to um, you, the UK, There's go over to France, go over to Brazil. There's so many that's out there that's, that's smashing it at the moment. Go over to um, India. Punjabi hip hop is just smashing it. Sido Muswala. Absolutely amazing. So when I'm looking at um, um, Bacon, he's just putting a massive smile on my face on what he's doing, his dance move, his vocal arrangements, his vocals, his um his sing I mean his writing ability as well. He's just a whole package and quite rightly so because you're a member of um EXO. So all of you are very, very talented. But to look at you individually and see what you're accomplishing in individually and still holding your ground, still holding that weight. Sometimes when um you know when you have a boy band and you're not splitting up but you're doing your own um projects so, so to speak not all of them make it it's always maybe the one or two at the whole bunch will have a success in having a solo career but it seems to me that you all are still holding your ground it's if it's you know if it's if it's not k is bacon if it's not bacon is um is suho and if it's not suho is do you know it's it's a whole bunch of you just absolutely having some amazing um showing your amazing techniques and you all are different i was expecting you to all to sound the kind of like similar to each other or have some kind of similar um, creativity but it's just a joyous thing to see that you all have your um, you're putting your own individual ID and stamp on your uh, music ability um, and this is and like I said this one and the one before and the one after that um go over to my homepage just type in and um, bacon and you see all of my reactions type in EXO and you see um, a number of the reactions that I've carried out and it's just amazing to see that even though it's individually and your solo career is completely different and the music is completely different from what you did as a boy band it's like how can all nine of you uh, even though all nine of you haven't um, released your tracks at, at the same time and all did and some of you have yet to um, release your tracks and because of certain certain reasons military and so forth um but it's just nice to see that you're not being um you're not being pigeonholed and you're showing that around you're showing that to your fans that you're not pigeonholed this is something completely new but still kind of flexing with the same kind of um uh, um style of, of that you kind of like and know of um exo so hats off to you really really brilliant track loved it from beginning to end and for that reason i salute you sir amazing track to get you alone.